In today's video, we're going to be talking about inner child healing and five exercises that you can use to nurture and understand your inner child. In today's video, we're going to be discussing five steps to begin to heal your inner child. Inner child healing is a therapeutic process that's aimed at healing the emotional wounds and traumas from childhood. The inner child refers to the childlike aspect of you yourself as a person that is present in your adult self. And this inner child can be wounded by negative experiences in your childhood, which can lead to emotional and psychological issues now in adulthood. And so inner child healing, what it does is it seeks to identify and heal these wounds by accessing and nurturing the inner child. So in this video today, what we're going to be doing is inner child healing. We're going to be talking about five exercises that you can do to nurture and understand your inner child. Now, the process of inner child healing typically involves identifying and understanding the inner child, nurturing and caring for the inner child, and addressing any unresolved issues from childhood. Now, this can be done through various therapeutic techniques, such as talk therapy, uh, visualization, meditation, creative expression. The goal really is to heal the emotional and psychological wounds of the inner child. And so this can help anyone, any individual, develop healthier relationships with themselves and help them improve self-esteem and ultimately live a more fulfilling life if we're able to heal those issues from childhood that we have. So inner child healing can be immensely beneficial for individuals who have not only experienced childhood trauma or have negative experiences, but also individuals that are struggling with current emotional issues such as anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, low self-worth. And so it can help individuals to connect with them, their, their selves, with their true selves by breaking negative patterns and beliefs and finding a sense of inner peace and wholeness. And so while inner child healing can be a challenging and emotional process, I'm going to be honest there, it can lead to significant personal growth and transformation, but understand that this process is not always easy. Inner child exercises are uh, a popular form of therapy very often, but they're aimed at healing negative beliefs. Ultimately, it can be aimed at childhood trauma. Yes. But ultimately what's going on is negative beliefs. The inner child refers to that emotional and psychological part of that person that was formed during childhood, but is often still present in the adult self. Now we're going to be trying to access the inner child to heal the inner child. So overall, our goal is to heal ourselves and improve our emotional well-being, our relationships, our sense of self. So we're going to go ahead and dive into five steps, five exercises that we can do to heal that inner child. Step one is to identify the inner child. The first step in inner child healing is to identify the inner child. This can be done by visualizing the childlike aspect of yourself and imagining what they look like. Close your eyes and picturing yourself as a child. How did you feel? How did you think? What were your needs? A really good exercise that you can try here is writing a letter to your inner child and speaking to them as if they were a separate entity. That'll really help kind of identifying the inner child. Step two, understanding your inner child. Once you've identified your inner child, the next step is to understand their needs, their desires, their emotions. This can be done through journaling, visualization, talking to a therapist. And I know that can be a scary jump, but talking to somebody that can help you in talk therapy can be a really good step in understanding your inner child. By better understanding your inner child, you can start to heal the traumas and wounds that you have, the negative beliefs that are still affecting you as an adult. Step three, and a very, very important step is nurturing your inner child. 
That inner child wound is often coming because of neglect. The inner child is often neglected and ignored. So nurturing them is an important part of the healing process. This can involve things like setting aside time to play and have fun, giving yourself positive affirmations, saying those loving words, expressing love and compassion towards yourself, because so often we find ourselves saying negative things to ourselves. I am not worthy. I'm not loved. But you have to understand how you can start saying compassionate, loving things to yourself, because by nurturing your inner child, you can help heal the wounds of the past and promote a more positive self image. Step number four, forgiving your inner child. Forgiveness is a key aspect of inner child healing, and it can help to release negative emotions and beliefs that are still impacting you today. This can involve forgiving yourself for past mistakes, as well as forgiving others for any hurts they may have caused you. By forgiving both yourself and others, you can break the cycle of negative patterns and begin to heal. And last but not least, step number five is integrating your inner child. The final step in inner child healing is to integrate the inner child with the adult self. And so by integrating the inner child with the adult self, this can involve accepting and embracing that childlike aspect of yourself, really just incorporating the lessons that you're learning through your inner child healing process into your daily life. Having more of that childlike aspect in little parts of your day, loving yourself, doing little fun activities and enjoying little moments here or there, saying positive affirmations to yourself, reminding yourself that it's okay to have that inner child, forgive yourself for any mistakes or anything that may have cropped up. And by doing so, you can improve your emotional well-being and live a more fulfilling life. In conclusion, inner child exercises are a powerful tool for healing childhood trauma and limiting those negative beliefs. And by identifying, understanding, nurturing, forgiving, and integrating that inner child, you as an individual can improve your emotional well-being and lead a more fulfilling life. It's important to understand that healing takes time. It takes patience. And it's okay to work with a therapist or somebody who can guide you through the process. If you aren't already, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, stay blessed.